Hey, what's up, YouTube? In today's video in particular, I'm going to be addressing some of the major changes found within iOS 12 Beta 2 compared to its predecessor being Beta 1. All right, so let's get directly into things. I'm starting off with one of the major features that I found that changed in Beta 2, and it's one that I've been waiting for for a long time. Now, I hope this is something that Apple is going to keep, and it's not just a glitch, but the feature I'm addressing is the ability to dismiss a phone call without letting the other person know. On the other hand, and previously, you only had the option to remind me or hit decline both, which would simultaneously end the call on the other end, letting the person who is calling you know that you declined their call. But now with iOS 12 beta 2, if you simply click remind me, you will be taken directly to the home screen, but at the same time, the person that is calling you will not be notified in any way that you rejected their call. Now, this is something that I've been waiting for for an incredibly long time because it is super annoying to have to wait for your voicemail to pick up the phone call before you can use your device again. And the other option being you let the person know that you rejected their call, which is at times kind of rude. Now with this new feature, you can return to your home screen without notifying the other person that you rejected or ignored their call. So that is something that is absolutely incredible, and I just wanted to share it with you guys right off the bat in today's video. All right, so the second major topic I wanted to talk about in today's video, now this really isn't a new change, but this is something found within iOS 12 beta 2, and that is new Apple Watch identifiers found within the system code, signaling that a new Apple Watch is being tested on iOS 12 beta 2 and watchOS 5. All right, so the next major change I found is within the settings app under screen time, you'll notice that when you hit screen time, there is an all new splash screen you can continue or set up as a parent. I'm just gonna go through and scroll through these settings to show them off here. You can schedule a downtime, you can set certain app limits, allowing for different app categories, social networking. I'll expand the list here to see all the options that you have. For now, I'm just gonna click not now. We'll continue to content and privacy. Again, just showing you what this does. For a parent, you now can create a passcode, re-enter the passcode to not only control the screen time on your device, but your kids' devices as well. Now, I don't have a second device running iOS 12 beta 2, but here's a screenshot I found on a website showing you how to control screen time on other devices from your main parental device. Again, one more thing that I couldn't get quite working on my iPhone 6. It's probably just an issue on my end rather than on this beta, but there is an all new interface for autofilling your passwords and keychain. Now within the settings app, under notifications, there's actually a new dedicated tab here to turn off Surrey suggestions for specific apps. And this is new in beta two of iOS 12. And very quickly, the app Voice Memos has also received a new splash screen in iOS 12 beta two. So once I click allow, as you guys can see, it says welcome to Voice Memos and kind of explain what the application does and how it works. And once I click okay, we're taken directly to the all new redesigned Voice Memos app in iOS 12. Now paired with this within the settings app, the voice memos section also has new options. Now next up within the photos app, if we scroll down here under media types, the text highlighted in blue is much larger and this theme persists if we scroll down to the category of other albums. Next up, the podcast app now has the ability to add and view chapters of said podcasts. Now initially there wasn't enough data to bring up the battery usage charts, but when I left my phone on for a while, I'm happy to say and report and show you guys a live demo of what the new charts look like in iOS 12 beta 2. They do look a little bit smaller and a little bit more precise in this beta. Now, very lastly, pertaining to iPad users running iOS 12 beta 2, you'll be happy to hear when you run iPhone apps on your iPad, ones that are only made for the iPhone, they will now display with more proper dimensions. Instead of being squished into an iPhone 4-esque ratio, they will now be displayed in an iPhone 6 ratio. So certain apps that have yet to be updated for the iPad and that are only available in the iPhone app form, again, will now look a lot nicer on your iPad running iOS 12 beta 2. Anyway, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. That is my list on the top 12 iOS 12 beta 2 changes. Again, these are not all the changes present 
in the second beta iteration of iOS 12, there is a ton of new things found in the iPhone 10, like new Mi Emoji accessories, as well as a new Face ID prompt when setting that up. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. That pretty much wraps everything up. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. And again, if you want to stay updated on future coverage pertaining to iOS 12, as well as the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out.